All right, package number two is not labeled. Yay! <laughs> Welcome back to the True North Life Homestead. My name is Jillian. If you guys are new here, welcome, welcome. I want to let you know that we upload every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. And you guys are more than welcome to join us and check out any of our videos. Uh, we love it when you guys leave us comments down below. So make sure you guys leave us a thumbs up if you like the video and any kind of comments you guys want to see next. We love to see those. So I wanted to share kind of a weird moment that I had the other day. We were coming home from work and I, we pulled in the driveway, opened up the mailbox and I was like, oh, there's something in there that isn't just paper. What is that? It's got my name on it. Like, what did I order? And I was standing there and I couldn't figure it out. So I opened up the package. It's seeds. So these guys I actually ordered back in May, March or May, one of those two. Um, I haven't actually opened these up, so I figured I'd open them up with you guys. So what I did was I was super curious and I went online onto Wish and I bought a bunch of seeds that were free with delivery. Um, just to kind of see, there were some funky things in there. I bought a blue puff ball, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I wanted to see if they would grow, if they would grow actually to what they were supposed to, what they were advertised as, um, and you know, just to kind of see what would happen. So I'm gonna open these up with you guys here today, just to see what these actual packages look like. So I don't know, there's no labeling on the outside to tell me what the seeds actually are. I don't wanna cut into the seed package, so I'm kind of nervous about this, to be honest. We're gonna see if we can get some funky seeds out of this thing. So, let's see. Package number one, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to 10 packages here. First one, yep, definitely not labeled. Oh, there you go. It's banana seeds. <laughs> so there's a hundred banana seeds it says in there. So we'll see if we can get a banana tree, I guess. All right, package number two is not labeled. Yay! So I have no idea what this is. If you guys know, it looks like peppercorn. What that is. I'll have to go through and see if I can pull up the actual ones that I bought. I'm glad, so I'm glad the banana one was labeled. There's two. Package number three. It's from a different company. I believe these are my black tomato seeds. So those are tomatoes. To see which ones that I bought again for those ones. Tomatoes. Not like anybody else around here needs more tomatoes. Mine haven't started to ripen yet, but they're about to. Super excited. So many tiny packages. These are made in China. Excellent. It says 209663. That sounds like a great variety. <laughs> but those guys are super duper small. So I don't know what those are. Oh, the description on here says 50 pieces nail art stickers. There you go. So I guess they're not supposed to be sending me whatever this is. Mm. All right. I think they do that though so they don't have to pay customs on them. Which is kind of sketchy, but sure. So these are those banana tomato. There. Try and keep them with their packages just in case there's any company names on them so that I can look them up afterwards. So far, this is kind of sketchy. Not gonna lie. I bought a bunch of varieties though. So I bought edibles like um, tomatoes and banana and apple and all that kind of stuff and cucumber seeds, but I also bought flowers like perennials, so I don't, 
there were some funky colors and I was like, oh, sure, let's give that a shot. It only took them like, what, seven months to get here? What, May, June, July, August. Oh, it's only four months. That's pretty good, actually. But still, you know, it's a long enough time that you're like, oh, I totally forgot that I ordered that. So when they showed up in the mail, I was like, what the heck? These look like bell pepper seeds or pepper seeds. Again, not labeled, but I'm pretty sure those are pepper seeds. Excellent, excellent. Not sketchy at all, right? This is number six. Oh, this comes with a clip, I guess. A weird alligator clip in there, too. Sure, why not? And these are... These are labeled. Yeah, these are as are flower seeds. So, Oxalis Versicolor seeds. I think that might be my blue puffball, which would be super duper cool. I'll have to look back up and see what that is. But I'm super excited because it looks like something out of the Lorax, like the Trumpula trees. So if those guys will actually grow here, I'm going to be ecstatic. I want to be the blue puffball farm after that. Because that's just stinking cool. I've never seen those around. Who knew plants could be so much fun, right? If we can get them to grow. There's no really guarantee that these things will grow. Oh, those are fun. Oh, yeah, these are my rainbow corn. So that's rainbow corn. And this stuff is supposed to be like the crazy kernels and stuff like that. So you get like really crazy pinks and purples in there. It looks super bright online. And I was curious to see if it'll actually be that bright in person. I doubt it, but it'd be kind of fun if it was. You know, have like super vibrant oranges and blues and stuff like that through your corn. Decorative, of course. I'm sure it doesn't taste very good. It makes a pretty sweet colored popcorn, though. That'd be awesome. I'd be down for that. I've love popcorn so we can make uh, some crazy popcorn oh yeah oh these are the trees so these apparently you're supposed to be able to grow like little indoor trees so I got an apple one a plum one a cherry and a pear and we'll see if they grow I'm not, I don't have super high hopes for most of this stuff, especially like the seed trees. I'm pretty sure most of the trees, especially in our area, are grafted because it's just too cold here. Um, a lot of the trees just can't handle our climate. So maybe they'll just be indoor fruit trees. Regular people have like 10 foot things in their house, right? My ceilings aren't that tall. I'll probably have to cut into the attic, but it's fine. Yeah. It's just like an afternoon project, right? This one. Oh, I also bought like a random mix of seeds. I thought it would come in like a variety where they split it up. So I bought a pack of a hundred seeds that was just like a fruit variety. And that's what they sent me is one package of a hundred seeds that just says fruit on it. <laughs> so this one I'm pretty sure is supposed to have like watermelon, uh, cantaloupe. Um, I think there's cherry seeds I think I see in here. Uh, like a crazy variety of fruit. I'll have to look it up which is exactly in here. But yeah, I'm glad that, that one was actually labeled because I'd be looking at this like that's not right. That's all different seeds. So if you guys are going to be buying seeds from Wish, from China, um, they may not be labeled. Just so you know. This is a super fun experiment that I'm kind of really excited about because if these guys actually grow into something, it could be pretty cool. Could have some really unique varieties on the farm. But if uh, they don't, then this is just an experiment that I got to do so that you guys don't have to. But you guys will have to stick around to see if any of these sprout. But I did a little bit of the unboxing with you guys here today. I gotta, gotta tell you, I'm kind of sketched out at the end of this. <laughs> I can't remember how much I spent in total. Um, 
I don't think it was that much because they were all like the free just pay shipping kind of thing. So I think they were like two bucks each per packet. So there's probably like $35 here after taxes in Canadian dollars. Um, so I think it's a really kind of neat experiment to try out. We'll see if any of them actually grow. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys next time on this little adventure. I will try and put the photos and everything up of the things that I bought and what they're supposed to look like so that we can remember. And I'll see if I can actually get these guys labeled so that I know what they are. But yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>